good everybody back at y'all with another video man today i'm bringing y'all the five things i love about the mustang and five things i hate about the mustang so it's gonna be kind of hard for me to come up with a hate list because i kind of like this car a lot bro but i'm gonna just give y'all like some of the things that i've noticed some of the things that i don't like and some of the things that i do like one thing i don't like and i'm gonna start with the things that i don't like excuse my voice i'm a little under the weather right now but one of the things that i don't like is that the mustangs don't come with a sunroof the s550 mustangs don't come with a sunroof and i'm guessing it's because of the fastback design but even the s197 mustangs didn't come with sunroofs i don't really think mustangs the mustang i don't even know if mustangs ever did come with sunroofs to be honest with you but i don't like how they don't come with a sunroof uh, the one thing about the S197, the 2013 through 14, they did add a glass roof for the California Specials, but this model year never got one. But I don't know if, like, on the last run of this model year, if they're going to add a glass roof or not. But yeah, they don't have a glass roof and they don't have a sunroof. And that's one thing I wish that Mustangs did come with because it get dark in here, bro. Like at night or even like in the daytime, I like to have some sun shining through. You know, sometimes and it'd be dark, but it's cool. That's one thing I don't like. Another thing that I don't like about this car, in particular the 18 through now, is the ticking noise you get when you cold start the car. When the car is cold in the morning, I, I know everybody who has one of these probably goes to this. It ticks and it makes this annoying ass ticking noise from like under the engine. And I heard it's, it only does it when it's cold. I heard it has something to do with the oil. I'm not gonna sit here and speak on it like I know what it is. It's annoying as fuck. So that's another thing I don't like. That's two. Third thing I don't like. Uh, let me think. It's kind of hard, bro. I like a lot of things on this car. I'm going to say my car in particular. That 10-speed transmission. Y'all know I've been having issues with that 10-speed transmission like crazy, man. I do not like the problems that these 10-speeds come with on these 2018s. And I'm just speaking in particular about the 2018 Mustangs. I don't know if any of the other years had this problem. 10-speed that's three. I think of a fourth one. No, man, I like these a lot, man. I can't even think of a fourth one right now. Uh, and I know this has to do with the engine. And at this point, I'm like nitpicking like a motherfucker. Because <laughs> I can't even think of nothing like really that pissing me off. The, the torque. There's not a lot of torque in this. You drive this and you drive a scat, it's like a night and day difference, bro, because of that torque. These are faster than scats on rolls, but the torque is like non-existent compared to like a scat or anything with like a bigger, even a Camaro, like anything with a bigger engine, bigger displacement. And I know that has to do with the smaller displacement engine. Look at this B, man. All up in my face. Back up, G. <laughs> I know that has to do with the smaller displacement engine. Um, so, and it's dual overhead cams. So, you know, but yeah, the torque is really low. It's not as punchy as like a scat or something like that. So it's not really as fun as a scat. Like when you're in traffic, just driving around. This thing is super fun on the highway. That's what this thing, it shows out at on the highway. Cause the power comes in up top and it just keeps going, like keeps going. So, but yeah, the torque, not a big fan of it. That's four. And the fifth thing I don't like, uh, I say how much this thing sucks oil, bro. And I don't know if it's because of how I drive it, but this thing sucks oil like a bitch, bro. Like, <laughs> I, I only go like one one or two months before I need another oil change, before I'm low on oil. And this thing takes 10 quarts of oil, bro. 10 quarts of oil. Like, that's a truck, bro. That's like a diesel truck or some shit. 10 quarts of fucking oil. So, it's expensive as fuck to fill up on oil. It's like 180 almost $200 to fill this thing up and do an oil change. And the oil runs out in like a month and a half, bro. Two months if you're driving it daily. The oil runs out quick as fuck, bro. So that's another thing I don't like about this car. Uh, so that's the fifth thing I don't like. Now we can talk about the things I do like. But things I do like, we're going to talk about while we're driving the car. So I'll get back with y'all. start with the 
five things I love about my Mustang in particular, man, is the sound of it. You can't go wrong with a Mustang sound to me, bro. Like, I feel like Mustangs have one of the most distinguishing, like, sounds you can get out of a car. Uh, with that 5.0 liter, you know what I'm saying? It gives off a different sound than most other muscle cars because it's dual overhead cam, it's five liters. You know, with most of the muscle cars now, you got 6.2, 6.1, 6.4, and they give out a very good sound, like a very aggressive sound. But well, Mustangs just sound different, bro. They just give off a different tone. You know, especially with my exhaust system, I got the X-Pipe and the Roush uh, axle back, and it really sounds like very like aggressive and like throaty. Like it's a very throaty and aggressive noise. And I really like that. So that's the first thing I like is the sound. The second thing I love about this car is the inside um I, I don't know a, a lot of people like a lot of people like that i that i know they kind of hate on the inside of this car but i love it bro i love the dash how it all flows together you got that dual like you know that dual hump in the dash i'm gonna add this to another thing that i don't like about this car y'all see how it just stalled like that i gotta figure out why it does that this car stalls by itself, I don't know why it does that shit. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I gotta get that checked out. The humps and the dash, that is a very like classy look. And like the Mustangs have always had that since the first Mustang. So I like how they kept that. Uh, you know, you got the Mustang plaque over there. Uh, you, you know, the, the screen, all the these uh, airplane like buttons over here, like the toggle switches. It feels like very rewarding to press them. And they feel great. And they click when you press them the part the push button start button when you press your foot on the brake this lights up green and it's like a fighter jet like you press it starts up so it feels super cool you know the material here sometimes you can get carbon fiber you know it depends on what you want the gauges i love these classic gauges a lot of people like the digital gauges and i don't mind the digital gauges i might upgrade to digital gauges but i love these great uh, these gauges in here how it says ground speed like an airplane you got the revolutions per minute like an airplane. Like, it's super cool. I love how those gauges are set up. I love how they light up at night. How you get the, the lights at night. Lights in the cup holder, lights in the door handles. I love that. How configurable the lights are and shit like that. Like, I like this car. The interior of this car is a huge plus for me. And I don't even have the premium. So, a premium will probably be even more better because you'll have the heated seats, cooled seats, leather, and, you know, more shit like that. But I fuck with this how it is. Another thing that I do like about this car is the way it drives. It's very smooth. It's a very like cruiser like car. See that vet right there? We got a vet. We got a vet right there. I think that's a Z06 or a Grand Sport. I love how this thing drives, man. It's very friendly it's a very user-friendly car if that makes any sense like it's easy to drive it's calm it's not a whole bunch of torque so you could cruise around in this car you know it feels great to drive around in just cruise around in it's not harsh it doesn't feel like a track car it feels like a very usable and daily car like i drive this car every day and i feel comfortable even even with the cloth seats i feel comfortable in this car every day my back's never hurting. Nothing's ever hurting while I'm driving this car. It's super comfortable to drive. Another thing that I like about this car, I'd say I like the ten, The things I, I like about the 10-speed is how quick the shifts are. For it to not be like a dual clutch, the shifts are very quick. Um, Got a V6 over there. shifts are very quick and it's not even like a dual clutch transmission or anything the, the shifts are crisp they're quick uh the 10 speed works when it works and when it works it's a great transmission don't get me wrong even like using the paddles like there's not too much of a late effect on them like like they're pretty quick they're not as quick as a dual clutch of course but they're quicker than most like automatic transmissions or even torque converter transmissions out there it's a pretty quick the, the shifts are quick and the shifts are rewarding uh another thing i don't like about this car though is these paddles man like these paddles are too small like 
you get into like most other cars with paddle shifters, man, like they make the paddle shifters present. These paddles are so small and hidden back here in the steering wheel. It's one thing I don't like, but yeah. Gotta love the sound of this thing, man. It sounds great. Last thing that I like, and I might've went over five. I don't even know at this point. I like this car so much. Is the rev matching downshifts, bro? The rev matching downshifts are like so good, bro. Like when you come up to a stop, even if you have the car in auto, it'll rev match downshift. <coughs> It sounds so good, bro. I love the rev matching downshifts. Another thing that I do like about this car is the sync system. The sync system is quick, it's accurate, it works. Only thing I don't like about the sync is their navigation because their navigation be retarded sometimes. They don't know, like when you ask shit on the voice command, sometimes they don't know what the fuck you're saying. But as far as like the sync system itself, this is the new sync system. No copyright. Uh. You know, the Bluetooth connects very quick. It's very precise. Um, everything works. The sync system is very quick. Like, you press something, there's no, like, really too much of a lag between it. Everything just kind of goes to what you want it to go to. And that's one thing that I do like. And I like how simple everything is, how you can see everything, how you know where everything is. It's not like other systems where it's confusing. You don't know where shit is at. Like, it's all right there for you. You, all, you know where the climate is, you know where the phone is, the navigation, the apps. It all works. Oh, shit. It all works, and it's all there for you, man. So, I like that. Y'all tell me how y'all feel about the POV uh, camera view, man. I've been experimenting more shit, because I know y'all probably want to see more from me doing other shit, different shit. So, I'm experimenting with the POV cam. I know myself personally. I like to watch POV cam videos. That's one thing I used to love as a kid was watching all my favorite cars POV videos so I could like feel like I'm driving the car or get the experience of driving the car. So y'all tell me how y'all feel about that uh, POV cam review, man. Backfires, oh, I love it. I love the little like pops you get from the exhaust. So y'all tell me if y'all want to see more. If you were disappointed, if you didn't like the video, let me know, man. Tell me what I could do. You know, I take criticism very good. You know, I'm not one of those people that that get hurt when I take when, when people criticize. You know, what I'm saying if there's something more you want to see from my videos. You let me know, man, and I'm here to provide for y'all. I'm trying to make sure that I put out more content. You feel me? Because I know I've been slacking. Been gone for months on end. Mostly because this car keeps loving to break down on me. So <laughs> now I'm trying to make sure that I put out content like way, way, way more, you know, consistently. So y'all tell me what y'all want to see next, man. I'm going to do some more POV driving, bruh. Turn that window down, put y'all put that window down for y'all. Feel me so y'all can get some sounds going. And enjoy the rest of the video.
Don't do it. You ain't passing me, Brody. It ain't happening. Don't even think about it, bro. Niggas, man, what the fuck is wrong with niggas? This is what I deal with daily, though, y'all. Like, motherfuckers try to race me all the time when they hear my shit, man. And I fall for it every time I fall for it. Hope y'all enjoyed that video, man. Y'all like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what y'all want to see next. It's a quick video. What I do like, what I don't like, five things, man. Y'all tell me what y'all want to see next. Got more content coming. Promised y'all that we was going to come crazy with the content, man. So, like, comment, subscribe. Press that notification bell. And I'll catch y'all in the next one.